In Kenya, property ownership is driven by a number of factors. These include diversification of investment portfolios, tax advantages that come with home ownership, predictable cash flows where the investors opt to rent out the premises, and creation of generational wealth, among others. These are just some of the reasons why Nairobi-based Tasneem Yamani, a medical doctor at Ahmad Healthcare, decided to venture into Kenya's real estate sector. This was about two years ago. I was trying to be a first-time homeowner, but I didn't have enough to buy a house that I can possibly live in. And I didn't think that's possible until I have my 20 or 30 million to buy a house in a place where I can live that's accessible for me for my day-to-day, -day, for my kids' school, ETC. Of course, there's always that hesitancy because of the property market that we've been in that We've had so many challenges where people invest and the house is not done on time and then you're there stuck with your money in something, but the house is not complete. So I was very scared and I've, that's why I've never, bought, you know, in all these years not bought my own house. But I finally got that advice on how to do it, how to go around it. And it hasn't been false advice. It's been very candid. It's been very real. Indeed, after years of skepticism, Dr. Yamani was able to find her footing in Kenya's housing market. This was through the assistance of one of the country's premier real estate developers and a proven titan of the industry with over 18 years of experience and over 40 completed projects. My first interaction with them was probably two years ago, I think around two years ago when I invested in one of their projects in Rungai. So after some guidance from Kings themselves, they were like, you should be able to buy something that's within your budget and grow it to be able to then get what you're actually willing to live in. And that's how that journey started with King's. Through King's developers, Dr. Yamani was guided through the intricate nuances of home ownership in Kenya. And given how green she was at the time, this service was an answered prayer. But we had a discussion and it became a whole thing about buy what you can afford and let it grow into what you can actually, or what you're actually looking for with time and that's where the journey started at Serenity. I bought a house as an investment to grow it to be able to then eventually buy a place I can actually live in because Ronga is not where I can stay. Not for any reason, just simply because it's my kids are all the way, school is here, work is on the other end of town, so it would become too much. So I went with it with the guidance and advice I received and I think I didn't go wrong because had I have not taken that step, Today, I wouldn't have two other homes that I can call my own. How they helped me is when I bought the project, they helped me resell that one at a profit and use the same amount to reinvest in another project, which is in a place I could actually consider living in. They gave me payment terms on it. So how it grew is I had a deposit amount that came from my previous one, which had earned me a profit to increase the deposit and use that to reinvest again and they still gave me time to pay it off. And then thereafter, there's a third project that I again invested in. So from a two bedroom to a three bedroom and from not having a home at all to now going through owning one to owning two because the one that I own grew into double. So it's literally one made two for me. Yes, Dr. Yamani is now an active real estate investor with her latest investments being King's Apollo Suites, luxurious three-bedroom apartments in Kileleshwa. I have uh, two homes there. One is my mom's and one is mine. The reason that appealed to us is one, we both are in the same space. It has amenities around it. So for my kids, there's a, there would be a pool, there'll be a recreation center. For my mom, if she needs to walk around, she doesn't, I don't need to tweak her outside the area and look for a park. So even if I'm not at home, she's able to get everything under one space. The location of the project is very convenient. There are things around it. There's a supermarket next door. There's schools in the vicinity. It's not in a you know far away place where you're like, okay, how do I get around? How do I get myself moving around? So the convenience of the place, the facilities it has, the space of the houses, the sizes of the apartments itself, and it comes with pretty much everything you need in one space. So yeah, that really, that does it for a, you know, everyday working mom who can't tear herself into pieces. So yeah, it helps, it helps a lot. One thing about King's developers is that we understand that 
clients are not the same. Customers have different diverse needs. And one thing's for sure is that we try to meet those expectations. We try to meet those needs because I know for sure by the time you're coming to purchase a property, even if it's not a property, even if it's clothes, the specific things you're looking for. We have residential houses, we have office spaces, we have apartments that are inside Nairobi, and we have apartments outside Nairobi. We have apartments in townhouses in our upcountry market. So you can actually see that we, we don't really have one formula that we solve for each and every person. The diversification also will include in the end end use. Do you want to live in that house? Do you want to do business in that house? Do you want to have an office? Do you want to do an Airbnb? Do you want to rent it out? We have already factored in all these aspects. So when we are selling a commodity to the market, we will tell you, oh, this is this is perfect for you to do Airbnbs. This is perfect for you to do rentals. This is perfect for family-oriented homes. Just like what Dr. Tasnim said, we give you advice which is very free because we want a sure client with us so that you can tell your friends to tell your friends that King's Developers is solid. As an investor, I'm not in the industry. I'm a doctor. So I have no idea how to go around this. So I come to you expecting you to have the expert opinion on it. And I don't expect you to just sell me something because you need to sell. I'd like you to understand me, understand what my needs are, and guide me based on that. Not just because you have a certain thing to sell, you'll convince me to you know, buy it, yet it's not what I'm looking for. You'll understand me and then tell me do this or do that and go buy it. So I feel being listened and understood is really important, especially when you're investing in trying to set up a home. Speaking of exceptions, another alluring aspect of King's happens to be their unique designs. I love how inclusive they are. They have a child area, they have, it's, it's family orientated, it's not, I mean you have all options available for me, I'm a family of four. I have two kids, I have an elderly pe uh, person in my house, so it accommodates all of us and that's what I love about it. Apollo Suits is a fantastic project because it's family oriented and at the same time you can also invest in it and get very high returns, get, get good payback for it because the location itself, as Tasnim has said, it enables you to maneuver around whether you want to go to Westlands, whether you want to go to CBD, Kilimani. Kilelesho is very strategic for you with amazing schools, with great shopping centers around, with it's also safe, and even the amenities are amazing. King's Apollo Suits is it's the hot cake because it knows what it's giving and it's giving quality lifestyle, it's giving comfort. Literally, we tell you when you buy Apollo Suits, you are upgrading to where you truly belong. And when it comes to cost, King's Apollo Suits is 30 million Kenyan shillings. The good thing is that you do a 20% deposit, then now the balance you spread it out for right now for 12 months, then you can be able to. We, we advise you accordingly, as Tasnim has said, we, we really try to shelter you and to ensure that your home ownership process, your investment journey is, we've always said it's risk is what, but we want you to feel very safe with us. I think I've learned on what you need to ask, the right questions to ask when you're trying especially on the off plan, how to judge on whether this is feasible for me or not, whether this is actually what they're saying, how to make those calls. Like I've learned a lot on what to look out for, how to follow up, how to know uh, which way you know things are going and to basically know when you're being given a story and when it's true. <laughs> I can tell you for a fact is that King's developers will hold your hand and guide you we want you to be knowledgeable. We want you to understand the effects of buying a house. We want you to understand the consequences of not getting one at the right time. I've always told clients the right time to buy a house is yesterday because you're able to understand that you're leaving something that is able to cater to you, to the children's children. You can have a resale value of your home. So we guide you and we listen to what you're looking for. And that kind of touch, I believe, you can only find at King's Developers because above everything else, you come first. <laughs>